Hi there, today we're going to take another look at the Lingaro Gantt visual as well as the AdWise Roadmap Gantt visual. Both are custom visuals in Power BI and both were already reviewed in this video right here. Um, why am I doing this again? Because both visuals got a upgrade and I'm curious to see if that upgrade will help us in our PPM journey. Now, two things to be aware of before we start diving into creating the visuals themselves is first off, both are portfolio management or program management Gantt chart visuals. And what I mean with that is that they are ideal to showcase a complete project, but not its individual tasks and dependencies and things like that. Second thing is that both visuals will have a different structure for your data in order to get the most out of them. So on the top bar, you'll see the table data for Lingaro. On the bottom one, you'll see AdWise Roadmap. Two things to consider here. So it is important to note that the Lingaro has a nice way to visualize phases and the AdWise Roadmap has a nice way to visualize baselines as well as different types of milestones. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the Lingaro chart first. So right from the start, as soon as you add the Lingaro GAN chart to your visual pane, uh, you'll see this nice little graphic here. I really love what they did with uh, giving you a welcome and warm feeling when you start working with the Langaro chart. So because this is the first time I've been doing a video on Power BI since big and major changes that you could find on other channels as well, is uh, that you now have the option to edit or build the visual from here. So what I needed to do uh, is turn off that suggested type in order to get the GAN chart Lingaro. Aside from that, we have a couple of things that we can fill in. We have a category, we have a legend, milestone, start and end date, and the phases, which is the specific thing uh, that Lingaro does so well. The category, at a bare minimum, you'll need to have a project in here. So let's take a look and add a project name. Now, the change in the visual is quite obvious. It tells you what is lacking to get a bare minimum visual on screen. So let's add the start date and let's add an end date as it tells us to do. And here you go. First version of your visual. Now that already looks nice, right? Where we have our projects that we had in our list and we have something that I really like is that line that pops up and that line can be configured in the more options this is a what was it again i think it was the timeline show indicator if you turn that off that visualization is gone but if you turn that on and for instance change that color it would show up really nice okay but this is just a normal GAN chart, nothing really special. If you have a project name and you have your start and finish date, this is now your program or portfolio overview. We can also lose the title because we already have the title here on top. Um, and we can do without a tooltip because we're not going to use that in our solution today. Add data and build your uh, GAN chart. So, that is the bare minimum. But what we can do is we can add additional values in the category. So we could add, for instance, the region in which these uh, projects live. Now, this doesn't make sense, of course. But if I move this on top, what we'll see is that there is a distinction between the north projects, the east and the south projects. Very nice. So this is an added value to your Gantt chart. You could either do that by region 
or you could do that by uh, let's get that through another way uh, we also have a related program and we can even stack that one level further or even more if we want to but then we start losing real estate so we have our HR program north section we have R&D uh, we have IT program who has south and north projects lovely what I like to do is I would like to have two layers so a program layer and the projects in them so uh, themselves adding another component is by adding a legend and you can do two things here because we had the region on top uh, just now we can sort of have that region being in the legend and you'll see east north south looks very nice but we can also have the status of our project in here project status and we add that to legend and it immediately finds amber green and red now if you want to now if you want to have those values a little bit more screamy or in your face uh, you can change those right here and add more colors and get that more more yellow and more green for instance and you'll see that reflect immediately in the GAN chart very nice and very clear that if you click on them you'll see that red shows up green and amber adding that last little very crucial thing about the Lingaro chart and for my uh, from my perspective this would be the reason to get the Lingaro chart in your visuals is that phases scenario and to get this right you'll of course need to configure your environment correctly to showcase the phase ending dates um, and you need to have some consistency in the names of your phases as well um, but once that is in place once your data is clean enough have a look at what happens with our uh, with our GAN chart so I'll add phase one phase two and phase three and here you see that that shows up really nice and if we add that tooltip again what we get is we get the full information on when the phases end when the earliest finish is and when the earliest start is and because this is a single project it is the start date that is actually in the system of course now one component that's missing and that is that crucial deadline that milestone let's have a look at the table data again I had deadline values here that was a separate section within my data source so I had a custom field that said the deadline for that project so let's click on adding that milestone and that was the commercial deadline value and you'll see that a couple of my projects are okay but there's also a couple of projects that are running behind and we need to do something about that so maybe green isn't actually good but this one doesn't even have a deadline so so there's a big question mark if that's actually a good project in itself it doesn't even have phases so that's it for the Lingaro GAN chart very nice visual very clean very it does what it is supposed to do if you're interested just download it for free it's available from the marketplace in uh, in your power bi desktop solution now let's have a look another look at the table for the adwise roadmap the adwise roadmap is a little bit different where it also has its programs where it has its projects but what you'll see is that each project has multiple lines uh, where in the Lingaro scenario you have a project per line now that is because we have phases plans which is a baseline and our milestones and we want to capture all of them separately 
but on a single project. Uh, we also have a type of milestone which differentiate, differentiates between the different types of milestones. And we have our percent complete, which is also a nice addition to the solution. So this takes into account that you have your data formatted differently than you would have for the Lingaro. So in a scenario that you are looking for a portfolio level Gantt visualization, you would go either for the Lingaro or the AdWise, but not together, I would assume. So let's go to the AdWise roadmap. And again, this visual already looks lovely from the start. And it tells you that there's three mandatory fields. There's the X, access Y, there's the start date, and there's the end date. So the access Y is where we would put our project name as a bare minimum. Then to see milestones, you would need to have a type. And where a phase is a bar, you would have a milestone for your milestone records. It doesn't tell you that there's the added option to add a baseline or a plan into the solution because this text is a bit older than that last new edition. So to see bar labels, click on the map details field and additional long text could be mapped under description. Pro features with watermark and we're going to see that for sure because we also want to use group, category, maybe even value for the percent complete. We're not going to look into sorting, uh, but there's ample information available on these two links here, as well as the link here above. So let's have another look and let's create this visual and let's start by the basis. So we have a one to four option. So we have a four layer hierarchy option here. So let's add the project name and see what it has as a bare minimum. So we have our project, then we'll start to add start date and end date. And here you'll see that there's different layers already on top of it. And that's true because our project, our project name is visible on more than just one line. If we would have something like the milestone trend analysis, which only has one line, then we would see one bar. So let's have a look if that is true. And that is true. First thing to note as well is that we have a to do uh, today date. It's May 2023 and we can start adding extra stuff. Now you can see that there's a whole lot more that we can do with the AdWise roadmap. So let's add a group and a subgroup as well. And we can do that again with region and program. Let's see what happens when we add the region. Now you get that watermark, which isn't pretty, but okay, I'll allow it. We have East and North projects. And if we add a subgroup, what will happen then? We'll add the program layer. And you'll see that the HR program and R&D program are in the East. And we have an HR and IT program in the North. Still looks lovely. The bars are a little bit thick. Uh, you can edit that by going into the more options and then you'll have options to change the bar width here, rounded, medium, corners, phase. We'll get back to that space, percentage of full height. So if we lower this or if we increase this, you'll see that those bars are a little prettier let's have that at 60 uh, that looks good then I see that milestones is turned off which I'll turn on it automatically turns off if I haven't defined the milestones yet so let's go in and let's get those milestones in there now how did we do that with adding the type if we add the type we'll see a couple of things happening. We'll see those milestones popping up and we see that little 
edge here as well as here those are our baselines lovely right so we have a type this is a phase which is one of those blocks this is a plan which is a actually a baseline and then we have our milestones such as the deadline now adding on top of these milestones we can differentiate and set the type of milestone and we can do that by adding the category so let's go in there type of milestone and we'll see a legend popping up that there are critical milestones and there are deadlines so this is a critical milestone and this is a deadline lovely adding additional value to the chart by adding the percent complete shows you a different color and makes the bar transparent so that you have a better overview of what the baseline actually was now you can tweak the way it's visualized in the add more visuals uh, add more visual elements now you see that milestones is here and is present you can change the coloring you can trade uh, change the gradients or you can change the transparency default colors additional bar of peak let's go back to the description and let's add some details like the name of that uh, element we have our phase one phase two phase three this is just a project and we have a project finish and a deadline here lovely but there's more that you can do with the AdWise roadmap. I just wanted to visualize this lovely version of the solution where you have on the right, uh, on the left side, you'll have your region, program, and project, and you'll have your different phases as well as a baseline. And that that's such a powerful visualization for any PMO to work with. Uh, once again. Both of these visuals are ideal for a program or a portfolio visualization of your project schedules. There are, of course, other visuals available for Gantt chart visualization. Have a look at my playlist that is on screen right now. I review more than these two Gantt chart visuals on the channel. If you would like to see more, make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.